What is up guys, welcome to my channel and today I am back with another GTA 5 online video and I hope you guys are all having a good day and in this video I will be showing you a solo money glitch where you don't need to have an MOC so if you do go on to enjoy this video then please drop a like down below and also subscribe for more GTA 5 videos like this and there are lots of other GTA 5 glitch videos including other money glitch videos over on my channel so make sure to turn on my post notifications by clicking the bell beside the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future GTA 5 videos. But anyway guys, let's just get straight into this glitch. So this glitch right here is a solo money glitch and you don't need to have an MOC for this money glitch. So this will make you guys a lot of money and it's not really that hard to do, it's actually pretty easy. And this glitch is actually a new director mode glitch, so a lot of you guys were asking for a director mode glitch, so we now have one today for you guys. Now I want to quickly give a big shout out to Surreal Glitching, JDogJH, and also Hugh Shots, Eastside Boy, and Matt James 36 So a big shout out to those guys for this glitch. But anyway, as I said, this is a new director mode glitch. And I'm going to be showing you everything that you need to do to make money from this glitch. So to get on with the first step right here, you want to do the first step on your first character if you don't want to lose the outfits for your first character. And if you don't want to lose the outfits for your second character, then do the first step on your second character. But the first step right here is buying the most expensive apartments that you can buy. So make sure you buy the three most expensive apartments and put them in slots four, five, and six on your list. So as you can see, I've got the three penthouse apartments now. So you just want to have the three most expensive apartments in slots four, five, and six. If you can't afford the most expensive apartments, then just buy some other apartments that you can afford. But anyway, once you've done that, you just need to jump over to your other character. And what you need to do here is the complete opposite. So you need to buy the three cheapest garages that you can buy and put them in slots four, five, and six on your other character. And then once you do that, you are completely set up to do the glitch because we are now going to merge the apartments basically from one character to another and then when you actually trade in those apartments you will get a lot of money back from them. So as you can see I've got two cheap garages already in slots 4 and 5 so I bought one more for slot 6. So just make sure you've got the three cheapest garages in slots 4, 5 and 6 and then go back to story mode and then what you need to do is just open up your phone in story mode and go to contacts and then go to acting up and this will launch director mode. Now if it reloads story mode at this point then just completely restart your game and then do that step again and it should work. But once you're in the trailer for the director mode you want to go to actors then go to story characters and then select Michael. I highly recommend using Michael for this glitch because I found that it's actually a little bit easier if you use Michael. But anyway, once you're actually in director mode, you will need to open up your interaction menu, go to settings, and then go down to explosive bullets, and turn the explosive bullets on, and then press square, or if you're on Xbox One, you would need to press X to apply the settings, and then after that, just bring out a gun and aim it at the ground, and what you need to do is start holding in the button for your pause menu and while you're holding that button in you will need to tap R2 or RT to fire the gun and at the same time you need to let go of the button for the pause menu and you should get this result here. Now I'm going to show that again in slow motion so you guys can clearly see that. So what should happen is you should start to fire the gun but the pause menu will come up straight away. So as you'll see right here, I've got it in slow-mo so you guys can see that. So I'm just tapping R2 and letting go of the options button and then the pause menu will come up just as I'm firing the gun. 
Now if you get that, then that's pretty much perfect. You should actually have the glitch now and you should be able to see a little explosion coming out of the end of your gun. That's usually a good sign that you've got the timing right there. But anyway, once you've got that, all you need to do is then go to online and then go to the creator. And when you're going up to the clouds, you should see Michael just standing there and then it should take you to a black screen. And then when you get to the creator, you should then have the double menu. Now if you don't have the double menu, you will need to quit your game and then load up the game again and try again. But anyway, if you do have the double menu, just press down on the D-pad and then select Michael again and just wait for it to put you on a black screen and then it will fade back up to the creator. Then once you've got that, just open the pause menu, go over to online again and this time select choose character. And then once you get to the character selection screen, you will want to select the character that you bought the most expensive apartments on. So for me that's my first character, so if you bought the most expensive apartments on your first character, then select your first character. If you bought them on your second character, then obviously select your second character. But anyway, once you actually do select your character that has the most expensive apartments, you will then just want to wait for it to time you out. So when you're loading into a new session, it won't actually load you into the session, it will actually give you an alert message and it will say that you've timed out. So you're just waiting to get that alert message. And then once you do actually get that alert message, you need to accept the alert message and as soon as you accept it, you will need to completely close GTA 5 as fast as possible. And then once you quit out of GTA 5, if you're on Xbox One, what you need to do is completely delete your GTA 5 profile and then load up the game again. If you're on PS4, you will need to wait until you hear the glass smash when you're loading the game up and just hold L1 and R1 until it asks you to change your brightness and then just change your brightness and wait for the game to load up. Now if you're on Xbox One, you will need to play the prologue again and then you can go online, but if you're on PS4, you can just go straight to online and select choose character. But this time when you're selecting your character, you will need to select the character that has the cheap garages. So for me that was my second character, so just select your character who bought the cheap garages and then once you've selected that character, it's very simple and this is the step where you actually get the money. So when you select your character, just wait until you load into an online session and then once you do load into an online session, what you need to do is bring up your phone and then go over to the Dynasty 8 website and then just buy the three cheapest garages again for slots 4, 5 and 6. And basically when you're trading in the garages that you already have, you'll see that you actually get a pretty nice amount of money for that. So you'll see right here, I've just loaded into a new session, I'm going to bring up my phone and then I just need to go to the Dynasty 8 website and then buy the three cheapest garages that I can buy. And then you'll see when I replace my garages that I already had in slots 4, 5 and 6, you'll see that I actually get a lot of money. So I'm just buying the cheap garages now and you'll see the trade in price for my current garages is actually a very nice amount of money. So as you can see right here, I have just got 500k for that one and then the other two will bring in pretty much 400k. So yeah, that is how you do this glitch. I hope you guys could follow this tutorial. If you couldn't, there will be a text tutorial in the description anyway, so you guys can go ahead and check that out. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then please drop a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I also want to thank you guys for getting me to 50,000 subscribers. I can't believe it guys. 
I just want to thank you for all of the support on my channel. So thank you guys very much. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.